<sighs> oh wow, it's been a long day. <laughs> it's quite obvious, right? Okay, but I was scrolling through Twitter and I saw a comment that caught my attention. The statement was made by Mr. Babatunde Irukera and it was congratulating the new MD of FAN. And what he typed was, we are ready to move the needle in improving, you know, and it went on like that. And that statement caught my attention because it wasn't just a regular statement. It could have just typed, we are ready to make a change. But because it's also good with words, it knows when to drop the idioms at the right time. And this is what happens when you invest in yourself, when you invest in your word bank, when you can use a word in different ways, when you can use synonyms, when you can use idioms to express the same thought, especially if you find yourself overusing a particular word or phrase. And this is why I encourage you, if you want to speak more fluently, if you want to speak more eloquently, invest in your word bank. Invest in how better to say a word, especially if you find yourself repeating a word or repeating a phrase. I do that to myself. I try to say, how better can you express this word or this phrase? Is there an idiom to say? It doesn't have to be a big, big grammar or big word to, you know, confuse your audience. No, it could be something to just say to make more sense or to hit the nail on the head. <laughs> I just used an idiom right now. And let's go back to that idiom. It means that making a necessary change or a visible change is used in business terms as well. So the needle there. It's not the needle we use in sewing clothes, no. It's the needle, the pointer on the measuring scale that is really visible when there's a weight on it. So it's used in business to say, remove the needle. That means there's going to be an obvious change. So you can use this in your next presentation and save this idiom for later. Thank you very much. I hope you learned something. So remember to always find new ways to say the same thing. Bye.